I'm going to be studying uh, Cert 3 in Community Service because I would like to be a police officer like, later on in the future. And yeah, it's just more involved in community work and uh, working with other agencies. And I, I think it will really benefit me by the end of the year. When I first started, I, will, I was confident, I have confidence, but I think that working more in the community will help me like, to be more confident and gives me a better outlook on like, my future and what I want to do. I highly recommend it. I think it's a great way to get the skills to build up confidence um, and just as who you are as a person as opposed to just coming straight into an apprenticeship and being dumped in it but having a bit of experience before going in I found it really helpful for working in other places. You learn a lot, um, you gain lots of experience, um, come under authority of people, um, new skills, um, I've learned coffee making, um, customer service, um, how to change banking, um, stock ordering, all sorts of things. I hope to gain experience as I have already gained but also just the uh, confidence as a person to be able to establish my own business in management but also in their ownership to train other people up and give them the same opportunities as myself. To the R, to the O, to the end. That's what I'm called when I'm talking to my friends. I pump the beat to the very end. Listen to the beats that I play again. My name's Mika. I walk around with fat boy. I act the clown. I play b ball. I'm a brown scout. I hang with my cousin, just me and myself. Yeah, my name is Fat Boy. I walk the streets. I'm from the Bronx. I pump the beats. We can help uh, students find uh, work experience. We can go to businesses and get them that work experience. That can lead to employment. That can also lead to a school-based uh, traineeship. And it can lead to uh, an apprenticeship. And we can uh, offer uh, assistance with that, uh, wage assistance, uh, work clothing. And we work with a Career Employment Group, Business SA, and the school um, within all the schools, and the school uh, trade school broker. Any student that would like some help with getting our services, uh, and that can be employment, it can be a traineeship, um, we can help them in conjunction with the school. So with us working with the school and, and helping them through their whatever need they may need to be assessed with, we can assess that with the school. So through the school we can uh, get them into employment or at least assist them into employment. We provide training in community services and health and that means we um, do things like provide training for Certificate 3 in aged care, in disability, home and community care, and we also do the Diploma of Enrolled Nursing. And what makes us different is we're all about the people, they're not just numbers, and we believe learning should be fun and interactive, and students who come here always know they're going to have lots of support from the staff. So if they're struggling with anything, there's always someone around to help them. Part of the course actually includes um, what we call a workplace experience. Um, in aged care, they do a 60 hour work placement where they actually work in the industry. Um, and it's all hands on, and they've got um, experienced staff there to support them and to help them through. And while we're actually doing the training, we try to make it um, as realistic to the workplace as possible. Do my thing, I go to the beach, I go for a swim, I talk a lot, just me and my friends. What up everybody, my name is Peter, I ride my bike and my scooter, go to the park, go for a skate with my cousins and my mates. My name is Akisha, I dance a lot, I tap my fingers all along, you hear me sing, I check my raps and body your ways, just like that. Just like that, just like that, just like that, just like that. We've uh, taken a number of those people and put them into full time work here. Uh, it gives us a look at uh, the younger people around the community. It gives them an opportunity to have a look at our industry and to see how we operate. Uh, it's, I think it's invaluable. I think a lot of people see the industry, they come in, they'll have a coffee, they'll have a meal, and they think it all looks pretty easy, it all looks pretty simple. Um, but I think they, they sort of realise when they get here, 
that it's uh, it is that there is a lot involved. There's a lot of skill set involved. It's becoming a career rather than just a, a part-time job nowadays. Um, and there is really a career move. You can you can go from being a, a waiter right up to being a hotel manager or somewhere all around the world. Obviously, we're a um, agriculturally rich um, resource. But there's also opportunities in the training, in the construction area, um, carpentry building, concreting, and also um, in further studies at TAFE. The time is right for them to uh, explore these opportunities in the workforce um, instead of uh, probably sitting around and biding their time with, with friends and with, um, with family because um, the opportunity for Aboriginal employment these days are, are huge and um, so without waiting around for it, grab it with two hands and um, run with it. They've helped me with work experience, but before I, I did that, they helped me with my career action plan, um, what steps I need to take before I do what I want to do when I finish school. So they helped me arrange a work experience at GLOW, the health food cafe in Port Lincoln here. Well, originally it was I wanted to study great white sharks because they're, um, they're a mysterious creature, there's not much known about them. But then I watched a documentary and it kind of changed me from sharks to whales. I'm more attracted to this area of work because of my cultural background. Um, I belong to the Merlin tribe, to the people of the whales, so I guess there's a strong affiliation with the ocean. But I don't know, I guess it's whatever their dream is to follow it. Like, I know Air Futures here will help you with whatever you need to do, whatever career pathway you choose. They will help you, they'll do whatever it takes. They basically put me through training and various workshops that would help me later on in the future, which I really appreciate them for that. We started work experience here because they were offering like a traineeship. So we started work experience. She offered us the work experience. Like, and then I started just before Christmas for a week. I did some work experience and then not long after that, she, a Bill offered us the, offered me the job, like for a traineeship and I accepted. And yeah, so I've been here for like a month now and I like it heaps. So I'm um, going to be studying like more about administration and stuff and going to like TAFE. I've grown up here all my life and yeah, it'll probably give me an opportunity to go, probably, probably go other places or stay in The opportunities in, in a healthcare setting are huge, you know, um, it's, it's such a varied career that can, it can be a good fit footprint into going off into other areas as well. So you've got, you know, mental health, social and emotional well-being, psychiatry, general nursing, it's, it's such a varied role. Um, the Aboriginal community is specifically an interesting area to work in because of uh, it's such a, a complex area, so, so dynamic, and it's politically it's sort of upcoming in, in, in the arena as well because of the, the changing complexities of, of health. Um, Portland and Aboriginal Health is a great place to, to come and experience that. Where they're pretty much well, they're with the only organisation in this in this area. Um, uh, it offers a, a wealth of experience across that. We, we do encourage people to come through the service. Uh, it's an ageing workforce as well, so we obviously want to see uh, young kids coming forward. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a very diverse uh, industry to work in. You need to know whether you can turn up on time, uh, be committed, uh, know that your customer service skills are there, that you have an interest in that position, 
and that you know who the people are that you're going to be working with. We offer a, a personalised service and we pretty much don't turn our phones off. So if the kids want to get hold of us or parents want to get hold of us at night, um, we are open to that. We can always come out at night and see whoever needs. We're very passionate at Career Employment Group about being a community organisation. We believe in putting back into our community and being very involved in our community. Um, we think that's crucial to part of our business. We are a not-for-profit organisation and we are expected to give that. The Salvation Army Employer Plus uh, has offices right over the Air Peninsula and we have dedicated staff who can assist with career counselling, um, looking at pathways to employment and into study and also providing advice on things like resumes, cover letters and things that people don't necessarily have the knowledge straight up about when they're working or going into the workforce for the first time. We we'll take people who have not got the knowledge of how to apply for work or what type of work they're after and we'll walk them through the steps. So we'll go through a career development approach with them, identify what pathways they have available to them and then assist them into those pathways. The reality for most young people is it is actually that, a transition. It will never just be an event. Um, it's a process, a set of steps which they need to embark on and, and not see as a threat but see as more of a challenge and something they can learn from. That'll include work experience, uh, potentially school-based apprenticeships, uh, links to outside uh, training organisations and links to the community so that they get a sense of what the workplace is like, a sense of the experience, uh, a sense of the expectations of the employer as well as uh, what, what's requirements from their own set of skills which will work for them. Probably the best option is to ease your way into the apprenticeship around the school-based apprenticeship because not always has the child make the, or the student make the best decision first. I mean, they may find that no, that wasn't the job or career for them. If they've gone into a pure apprenticeship, they find it difficult to come back to school 18 months on having worked in an adult environment. The advantage of a school-based apprenticeship is, yes, they can still remain in school, get accreditation for what they're doing, and if they don't like the apprenticeship, come back to school. If they do like the apprenticeship, nothing is lost, only everything's been gained. What you get is what you see. A positive kid with a positive mind, what I do strictly meets. No games inside my head. What you get is what you see. A positive kid with a positive mind, what I do strictly me. No games inside my head, what you get is what you see. A positive kid with a positive mind, what I do strictly me.